Hey guys, this is Spartacus here and welcome to another video. Yeah, welcome to another video because I haven't made one or at least uploaded one in over a week uh, because my last video, I said my title was called Nuketown is back and so am I because I hadn't uploaded a video in like two or three weeks and then I uploaded that video and now here I am uploading a video a week later and I do apologize you guys. School has been kicking my butt. I'm almost done with fall quarter here so once fall quarter is over I can have winter break and kind of relax a little bit and have more time to actually make videos for you guys so I'm really hoping that's going to be the case and yeah that's really just the main reason also my health has not been doing very good I have not been getting a lot of sleep lately and that's not a good thing at all I really need to like manage my time more and make sure I'm always getting eight hours of sleep because honestly I feel like I'm gonna die like really early if I don't get enough sleep or something so I gotta focus on my health I gotta focus on school right now and then I'm gonna start making videos but anyway I'm making a video right now and today we're gonna be talking about Black Ops 4 and how this game can be a lot better because when this game first launched there was a shit ton of bugs in the game you guys it is just absolutely ridiculous like some of the bugs actually one that, I, that actually occurred to me recently is that if you apply six attachments in multiplayer to one of your primary weapons it will actually remove one of those attachments when you try to use that class in game which I don't understand how that became a glitch in Black Ops 4 but it's a glitch in Black Ops 4 so and the reason why it actually removes one of those attachments is because you're actually putting one of the clan tag or kill counters on one of your weapons so make sure you're not using a kill uh, kill counter or a clan take on any of your guns because yeah it's just going to remove one of your attachments so just don't use those for now on until they fix that glitch also another glitch is one of the outfits um it says like so when you personalize your own uh, specialist characters in multiplayer there's kind of like this green tag or green symbol on that specialist character uh, uh, show, telling you that there's a new item available for that specific specialist character. And I have one for my Seraph character. So there's like a green tag on there and it says there's something new for my spe for Seraph. But every time I go to Seraph, there's nothing new there. And I don't really understand why this makes no sense to me. And maybe I, there is a new item for Seraph that I have unlocked. But for some reason, it's just not showing up for me. I'm, I don't know if anybody else has this glitch, but this is a occurring one that I see a lot in the game and yeah I'm just uh, it's just so frustrating also you can't even play Nuketown in custom games right I mean we just got Nuketown recently we also just got a uh, night firing range as well as seaside sunset which um, which those maps actually look pretty dang good um, during the different time of days um, but yeah um, you can actually play the nighttime firing range and the seaside sunset in custom games but you can't play Nuketown in custom games and I don't understand why that doesn't really make any sense to me um, also another thing about multiplayer that I think needs to be improved on is blackjack shop and these special orders need to be cheaper so blackjack shops um, as you know if you go into blackjack black I can't even say a blackjack shop if you go there you can buy different items like uh, outfits for your specialist characters emblems uh, stickers all that kind of great stuff uh, you can buy those with cod points right and you can also buy like a certain set of like like the certain stickers or emblems and stuff like that and if you complete the sets then you'll get like a new item for that set you know um, which is pretty cool you know it's something we see in the supply stream which I'm gonna be talking about here in just a second uh, but I think the items in the blackjack shop do need to be a little bit cheaper because for example I saw a sticker that cost 500 cod points which is equivalent to five dollars and I don't think that a cosmetic sticker should cost five dollars that seems a little bit overpriced but of course as an Activision we're talking about they're always overpricing things and especially the special orders holy crap you guys I think we all know about the new special order um, where you can actually get a Maddox variant and the divine justice variant for your strife pistol now this special order costs two 2,000 COD points, which is equivalent to $20 in the United States. That is ridiculous, in my opinion. $20 for two weapon variants. Just ridiculous. Of course, there are some other items as well, like emblems, stickers, calling cards, and stuff like that. I mean, that also comes in the bundle, but nobody gives a shit about that. Those the, those things, right? We only care about the actual weapon variants. And the worst part is, you don't even unlock all these items immediately. You have to unlock, like, once you buy them with the COD points, you have to unlock them by progressing through tiers, similar to what we have in the First Strike supply stream system, right? absolutely ridiculous I'm not gonna go further into it there's already people who made individuals about this certain bundle and how overpriced and how big of a ripoff it is and it really is you know no, not to mention 
the Divine Justice variant for your Strife Pistol, that variant was a GameStop exclusive that I actually already have in-game because I pre-ordered my game from GameStop and you could only get that weapon variant by pre-ordering the game from GameStop. Now everybody has access to this variant by spending $20 on this bundle, which doesn't make the variant unique anymore. Uh, which uh, which is also kind of a sad thing and for me it's also another ripoff because I already have the pistol so the only reason why I would be buying the bundle in the first place is for the Maddox variant. Also did I mention that the Maddox variant used to be free for everybody in the game like I and then they removed it all of a sudden and put it in this bundle? Yeah that's another thing so anyway I'm not going any further into the supply drop kind of bundle thing. I could go on forever saying how big of a ripoff it is but people have already made videos saying how like like stupid this is and I'm not just I'm just not gonna continue any, on it for any further you guys get the idea but anyway those are basically the main ideas that I have for multiplayer and the kind of not necessarily main ideas but the main improvements that need to be bring upon upon uh, Black Ops 4's multiplayer um, the last thing I'd actually like to mention or is actually not the last thing but another thing I'd like to mention for multiplayer is that the supply stream needs to be faster um, I'm only at tier 100 right now there's like 15 days left for the Xbox and I think 10 days for the PlayStation 4 right now uh, for the first strike supply stream I'm only at tier 100 and there's 200 tiers I'm not going to be able to get to tier 200 because at the end of tier 200 you would get yourself the ICR variant which looks really really cool. You would also get a Hudson character that you can use in Blackout and I really want to get the Hudson character but that's at tier 199. I'm not going to be able to get it and I'm sure they'll eventually like um, have the Hudson character or the ICR variant in like blackjack shops in the future so you can buy them with COD points. But the problem is, I don't support the COD point system, so I'm not going to buy them once they do become available for individual purchase. Um, but yeah, I really do feel like the supply stream needs to be faster. I also feel like that you should be able to progress through the supply stream tiers when you're playing zombies. I mean, because none of these items really apply to zombies anyway, so I can see why um, zombies players can't progress through tiers when you play a zombies match. But I really do feel like if you play zombies, you should still progress through this black market su like supply stream system. I that's, I honestly think so. It would make much more sense if they did that. Um, I'm not sure why you can't. Not to mention, it takes like an hour to go through each tier, which takes forever. So they need to make it like they need to make it where you can progress through it faster. It's just I don't know. It's just completely ridiculous how long it takes to progress through it. You, I mean, you could skip tiers, right? I mean, you can skip tiers by spending COD points, but I don't want to buy COD points. You know, that's just I don't know. That's just me. And the last thing I'd actually like to mention for multiplayer, I mean, it kind of relates to zombies as well are the dark, dark Ops Calling cards that you would unlock when you complete those challenges. Uh, so none of the Dark Ops Calling cards you earn are animated, and that bothers me a lot because in Black Ops 3, the Dark Ops Calling cards you would earn were all animated calling cards, but here in Black Ops 4, none of the Dark Ops Calling cards are animated, and there's actually one Dark Ops challenge that is probably the hardest challenge in any Call of Duty multiplayer game where you have to actually get a nuclear with every single primary weapon in the game while dark matter camo is equipped on those guns. That is a very hard challenge, especially if you're using like a sniper or something like that. So I don't understand why like that calling card isn't animated, at least that one specifically, because that is like a really hard challenge. So yeah, I don't understand. I, I just don't get it. Why are they not animated? But anyway, we're going to move away from multiplayer, guys, and we're going to be talking about zombies. Now, zombies, the same thing goes for kind of multiplayer. There's the glitches, right? There's actually a visual glitch that happened to me recently when I was playing the map 9 where I was using the Hades light machine gun, and I believe I already pack punched it four times. And yeah, it would kill the zombies and all, but every time I reloaded the gun, there's this giant bright red light that would just flash on my screen and it would just blind me. I cannot see anything. It's probably it's like worse than the strobe lights that you see on the SG12 shotgun in multiplayer. Like what? What is the strobe like it's like basically oh my gosh, I don't get it. It's worse than the strobe light and is every time you reload the gun, this light just appears on my screen and I can't see jack squat. I mean, I just I just don't get it. Uh, it's just a weird glitch. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fixed in like the next patch or something like that. I don't I don't see anybody talking about it but me. It seems like all the small glitches in the game are like stuff that's only affecting me. I don't know why, it's just kind of weird. Um, another thing I like to say about zombies is that you should be able to apply variants 
for zombies like let's say the ICR variants that you get for level 200 in the supply stream, right? Let's say you can apply that variant in zombies. Well, you can't, um, and I think you should. So, like, I already have some weapon variants, like the Divine Justice Pistol, um, the GKS variant. Actually, I'll unlock that pretty soon, but I have, like, a Titan uh, variant. It's the Black Knight or whatever it's called. I have that variant, and I can't apply it in zombies. So, I don't understand why you can't use variants in zombies. It doesn't make any sense to me. And also, you can't use Dark Matter or any type of Mastery camos in zombies either. So, there's al there also isn't any Mastery camos in zombies zombies as well that you can apply like like after you complete all camo challenges for a specific uh, weapon in zombies you don't get like gold or anything like that for the zombies camo you, you get nothing and I don't understand why I feel like you should be able to earn some sort of camos in zombies um, that's like some mastery type camos in so I don't know it just kind of bothers me I can't use like dark matter camo in zombies because you could do that in black ops 4 or black ops excuse me black ops 3 zombies you could do that so don't know why you can't do it here in black ops 4 so yeah, also I'd like to have rewards for players who like go for high rounds, like maybe pass round 50 to round 100 or complete Easter eggs while playing them in solo, right? So, like I feel like you should get a reward for like beating the 9 Easter egg in solo or beating the blood of the e dead Easter egg in solo or something like that because you can complete them in solo, but they're just really hard to do. And so I feel like there needs to be some sort of like reward for doing that and I don't mean like a face camo for like your characters now the, the screw face camos that's like the worst cosmetic item you could put in zombies I don't can't believe they would ever do that but something else like something that would actually benefit you when you're playing like I guess the game right maybe a camo like at least give us a camouflage or something like some animated camo you can put on your weapons when you completed those type of challenges right Either, rather getting a high round or completing the Easter egg that would be really really cool that if you could get at least a camo or maybe some other benefit where maybe you would take 5% less damage from like hellhounds or something like that. I don't know. That would be really cool as well. Um, so yeah, let's move away from zombies here. We can talk about Blackout and to be completely honest with you guys, there really isn't a whole lot to say about Blackout. Um, there hasn't been a really a lot of issues when I play the game mode. It's usually just me making dumb decisions and I end up dying. But I know in the future, armor is going to be changed. Hopefully, it is changed for the better because previously, armor did not bother me at all. But now, armor is starting to bother me because there was a situation where I was running and I, I knew that I could hear a guy's footsteps and I could tell he was following me. So, I hid behind a tree. I like aimed down my sights like beside the tree waiting for him to show up. So, once he popped up the hill, I started shooting at him. But as soon as I started shooting at him, I realized he had level 3 armor. And of course, I didn't have any armor. And he just basically just melted me because he was absorbing all the bullets I was shooting him and then he just shot me and I, I I died because you know I didn't have level 3 armor so the armor definitely needs to be tweaked and it looks like it's going to be like looking like that in the future also there needs to be camo challenges in blackout as well I feel like you should be able to apply some like w weapon camos when you pick up a gun off the ground in blackout I feel like in the pregame lobby you can apply a camo to like your ICR so once you go in game to pick up the ICR that camo would be on the gun I think that would be really cool if they would do, do something like that and have their own camo specific challenges in blackout like get 50 kills with like the icr and blackout or something like that or i don't know it's just something like that you know and you could apply that camo in zombies or in multiplayer as well i think that would be really really cool also, the last thing about Blackout I'd like to mention is more interactive features. So we know in the fracking tower, you can open up these doors that would basically bring you to a bunker or an underground basement area that has like a lot of loot. And sometimes there's supply stashes down there that can give you like level three armor and stuff like that. So it can give you some pretty good loot once you open up the fracking tower doors. Now, I want there to be more interactive features like that, but I want them to be like really badass features. And there's one feature in particular that I think will be so cool. So in the the hydro dam which is like in the top right i think it's called hydro dam anyway at the top right of the map for blackout there's like this giant dam right and i think it would be so cool if there's a way you can like destroy the hydro dam wall and basically that part of the map would just flood from the water like the, from coming out of the dam that would be so cool how is that not a thing in Blackout? I mean, it would probably like break the game or something like that, I feel like, because it's Call of Duty, you know? But 
Oh, honestly, that would be such a cool feature. I mean, seriously, I would totally play Blackout a lot more if that if there were features like that in the game. That would, oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. I, I don't know. I want really cool interactive features like that in Blackout. That'd be just awesome. And really, those are all the improvements, I think, that need to be happened here in Black Ops 4. And if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys, I think the main focus that Treyarch needs to do for Black Ops 4 before they add any new content into the game is fix the bugs and glitches. All that stuff needs to be fixed. I want the game to be polished first and then content later. That's, I think that should be their number one priority from now on and for the future of any Call of Duty game. Polish the game first. Make sure there's no bugs. Make sure everything runs smoothly. There is no game breaking stuff. Everything runs smoothly. Polished. Everything. It's golden, right? I want everything to be perfect before they add new content. Now, it is possible that when you add new content into a video game, it will bring along some glitches as well, and that's always to be expected. But I want the game to be polished first, and that's what didn't happen when this game first came out. This game was definitely not perfectly polished golden at all. All when this game first launched on day one it was definitely really really broken and they slowly have been fixing all the broken problems but I feel like before they add new content especially like blackjack's shop and like a new supply stream that will get special orders even though that involves cod points or even DLC one I want the game to be polished I'm just gonna see that right here now I want the game to be polished I got I've been saying it so many times I'm not even gonna say it anymore you guys get what I'm saying anyway that's pretty much it for the video you guys I really hope you enjoyed it and I do apologize for not uploading it's just been very 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 stressful my life with school right now and my whole sleep schedule and stuff like that so I'm gonna try and improve on that so that way I can start making more videos for you guys but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new to the channel and I shall catch you guys later